To most of us, this looks like just one more boring hillside of Idaho sagebrush. But to Carolyn Databay, a chemistry professor at the College of Idaho, it looks like a medicine cabinet. She and undergraduate researchers like Sophie Nosworthy are taking samples back to Databay's lab looking for chemical compounds that may help improve the effectiveness of chemotherapy drugs. And what could it mean if they find something? Um, economically, it has a, a potential for big impact if we do find things, uh, but it's a great way to learn about the ecosystem in general uh, because it's something that people don't evaluate very often and uh, is a great way for laboratory studies to evaluate uh, things that could have uh, beneficial or negative impacts on physiology. Databay is getting help from more than students. Wildlife is pointing her in places to look. It's a new approach to discovering uh, drugs and plants. And instead of looking for a needle in a haystack and analyzing all different kinds of compounds, we're using the wildlife that's out in the desert and already eating the sagebrush. And we're using their behavior and the way that they avoid some plants and eat other plants to guide us to the plants that are probably producing drugs that, or chemicals that could be turned into drugs. So plants are chemists, and the way that they defend themselves from being eaten and from diseases is that they, is they produce all these chemicals that are toxic to your body, and they're also toxic to wild animals. But it's sort of an arms race out there, and so as the animals have evolved with the plants, they've developed ways of spitting the chemicals back out. And it's kind of what your body often does with drugs. The drugs come in your body, but your body can get rid of them. So what we're looking for in sagebrush, sagebrush has gotten to be such a, a good chemical producer that it's now producing chemicals, we think, that actually prevent the animals from getting rid of the toxins. And it's the same thing that would happen in your body, for example, if uh, it... Um, some kinds of cancer. So some kinds of cancers, they get more aggressive. The cancer cells themselves are able to spit chemicals, uh, uh, chemotherapy uh, drugs back out. So what we think is that if we can find the chemicals in sagebrush that prevent uh, animals and uh, people from spitting these drugs back out, they would also prevent cancer cells from spitting the chemotherapy drugs back out.